As we walked briskly down the street of Madaraka Estate, Nairobi, 90-year-old Moses Migui hands me a bag full of pictures and a camera. My first camera was there. This one, you, you, you see. It. He then led me to his favorite spot outside his residential home under a tree to show me one of his most treasured possessions, this camera. Sasa, this camera, dio picha to the answer kuona camera ya yani hapa Nairobi. Hatukuona ingine ilikuwa mbele hizi. He calls it Kodak box camera. It was the best camera in the 1950s. Una kamata. Mm. 1 2 3 4 5 Unaona? Mm. Sasa hiyo picha pengine itakuja. Uta unafanya mara tatu. Mm. And for a few moments, it feels like Migui was back to his good old days, doing the thing he loves best. Unaangalia chini. Usi jaribu kufanya hivi uwezi kuona. Lakini ukuyanda chini tu, na uhold like this, na hindi ya kupiga. Sasa, ukiframe nini hilo na piga, alaso na finya tu pole pole. Moses pulls out hundreds of steel pictures. Pictures he took with his special camera printed and preserved from the 1952. Ni kazi nilifanya bila kuwa na wasiwasi. Kutoka during that time when Kenya was still under colonial rule, he says only white photographers had the knowledge to use such a camera. Tulikuwa watu wa chache kabisa. Katika Nairobi tulikuwa watu wa witu wa nafanya kazi wa ya gazeti. Mimi na akwera. He worked with the then East African Standard newspaper as a senior photographer and was later pushed to the Daily Nation. His favorite photograph is this, when he was invited together with a team of journalists to witness the burial of J.F. Kennedy in the U.S. August 7, 1963. As we went through some of the pictures, Moses could get memorable flashbacks of what was happening, something that made him happy. His yes. Excellency Mze Jomo Kenyatta with Emperor Haile Selassie during the Emperor's visit to Kenya. Haile Selassie iko hapa. Uyu, uyu hapa. Hey, iko kidogo na unekana lakini. Lakini, hata ya likuwa mwemunu. Hata, ya likuwa mwemunu. He holds and keeps his photographs safely like souvenirs. They are what reminds him of his past when he used to jump into planes and travel around the world. His pictures, he says, always ended up at the front page of the newspapers and branded as the picture of the week in their media house. Even at his old age, he says, he is willing to learn operating the modern-day cameras to test his photography skills once again. He still has an eye for a good picture. That is the sound of most cameras today. But that was the sound that was initially produced by this particular box camera. The sound that reminds Moses of Kenya's rich history. Dennis Matara, K24, Nairobi.